there is the subject of phantom assemblies and a lot of people don't understand what they are where they could be used etc so if i have a look at this particular assembly at the moment i've got two manufactured sub assemblies and they're both set to be created um, via subworks orders so let me just demonstrate that very quickly if i go into works order inquiry and create a new works order for this om21934 to make one for 30th of the 7th 18 okay then this will have gone off and created three works orders the top level one <laughs> trying to talk while it's doing this um, the top level one is the finished assembly and the two sub assemblies are to make um, i'm not going to bother printing the root cards are to make the two major sub assemblies of the cable and the rack now it may be that this cable is used in many different assemblies and you don't actually want to make them separately as separate subworks orders you just want the parts kitted as part of manufacturing the top level part so let me just demonstrate that and if i come back into my stock and stock parts for my OM219 and if I come into my assembly put this into modify and then I'm going to actually create a clone of the cable using that uh, process I showed you just now so I'm going to hot key control and F5 into the OM cable I'm going to go into that summary and I can copy that across into a phantom. Um, now, when I've done that, I can go and add the extra item as a phantom assembly and OM cable five, there's the phantom assembly. And within that is a complete copy of all of the parts that were in the original cable. I'm going to now delete the cable subassembly. So instead of two manufactured subassemblies, I've got one that is being transferred into a phantom and the other left as a manufactured subassembly. Now, if I go and create, um, I'm not going to do that. If I go and create another works order for that particular item, works order inquiry, I'm, I'm doing these as ad hoc works orders uh, for the purpose of this today. And this time we'll find that we've got um, just two works orders created and all of the parts for the cable have been pulled into the, uh, sorry, I don't want to print the job cards, but if I look at the components of the 21934, that has actually got all of the cable components that were specified in the Phantom. So they've simply been included at that parent level and this is great if you don't want lots of subworks orders created but you just want to use it for kitting purposes for example 